Welcome back everyone, this is Shadow Drake, and I must, uh, I regret to inform you that I once again did an oopsie, and I deleted something. That's right. I deleted this, I deleted this part by accident. Woo, glad it wasn't the save, right? <laughs> oh, I, but yeah, I accidentally deleted this part. So what ended up happening is I got it all set up, edited, all of that fun stuff. Can you please stop breathing heavily? And then... I accidentally deleted the video. I was going to upload it, thought I already did, and then I ended up actually deleting this video. <laughs> Go figure. So it looks like I get to talk about some stuff. So, I did a lot of things, and the a lot of things amount to a bunch of face change related stuff. And, yeah. I believe I just need four more face change devices and that'll complete it. So I guess I'll just go on ahead and talk about what I did. I really hope I need four. <gasps> My chickens are unviable. Okay, so yeah, this this is happening right when the viability update hit. And who did I call down? Who are you? Stellar Smelter. Ooh, Cosmic Forge. Perfect. So, I got a lot of work done. Uh, I am obviously flying solo. But, um, with Essa joining me and helping me out around the base, building it up and all of that stuff, I figured it would be great for me to have... that I really needed to set up... Oh, I need more iron in here. This looks like I gotta smelt my, more iron. I figured I would need to fully set up the atmospherics because they they really do need setting up. There's so many cardboard boxes everywhere. There's where it is. I've been looking for that cuz when I did the video I noticed that she put a nuclear battery in a labeler. <laughs> that was a gas. That was like nuclear battery. It's <laughs> <coughs> like that is so overkill. Okay, now I need passive insulated passive vents. Or you volume pump? I need some pressure regulators. Cause I don't think I have any more. So the goal is to finish setting up the phase change devices. Additionally, I need to set up some deep miners, but I can wait for that till later. Looks like I need some invar in there so that I can complete. There we go. Perfect. And as you can see, it is day 103. Basically, I did two hours worth of work. And lost it. And I got several things I have to do. Uh, gonna need to go mining for water. Oxygen low. Which is odd to think about that I gotta go mining for water. 
Uh, let's see. The way these centrifuges are going, they are emptying out this thing remarkably fast. You just emptied out recently. You're getting close, and you're about to empty out. <clears throat> but I do need to finish something very important in here. And that is... Uh, the question is, how am I going to do that? Okay, first of all... Let's, <clears throat> let's just show what I did. If we look over here, I got quite a lot of phase change device stuff going around. As you can see, I finally set up the pollutants to be warmed up to about 140 Celsius. I also set this up to cool down, to be working on cooling down the CO2 down to 20 Celsius with this. But the thing that is going to be a hindrance is the fact that I am trying desperately to dump heat up here. Which is going to be kind of at a standstill. <clears throat> and I need to push it to this water tank here. But the other thing is I have this water tank, and I, as I just fly over my base, this is going to be my storage for water, for drinkable water. I need to go on ahead and move some of this in here. The problem with that, though, is I need to get that water tank inside my base that already has some to come out here. So I need to basically reroute some water and fill this up a little bit more. <clears throat> and then this water tank is going to go and attach to this uh, counterflow exchanger so that this CO2 that's cooling down will basically keep uh, you know keep that water tank at a nice stable temperature <clears throat> and so that's basically what I gotta do I plan to completely dismantle that whole shower and water tank setup but I need to dismantle the oxygen that is the oxygen tank that is in there but I need to try to push it out to this oxygen tank so that I can reclaim all that oxygen because I really don't need it in there. And so it's just going to be a lot of grunt work. Alright, let's see. What can I sell? You want a ship repair package? Go ahead and get it. I'm going to go ahead and sell all of this. Uh, 236. Question is... That was the small one. You're the larger one, if I remember right. Wait, do you want a ship repair package? Yes! You can go ahead and sell this stuff, too. Get rid of all that coal. I really don't need that coal. So I, I actually smelted all my silicon, and I need to make some smelt some iron. So I guess I'll keep this just for emergencies. Oh, the other thing I need to do is I need to absolutely empty that out in there. So, because I've been buying stuff, but it's always been getting shoved in here. Oh, there's uranium. Any more uranium in here? Doesn't seem like it. And so... I did set up yet another deep miner, and as you can tell, <clears throat> I really do need to set up more because I'm running out of ores in here. This is chugging through that really fast. Like, I, I actually I think I need to set up another four. That way, because two are handled by volatiles, so that's one volatile. Another volatile, and then these two can't keep up with my uh, centrifuge. So yeah, there is that. Now, one thing that I need to do... It's gonna suck, but I need to go on ahead and... Actually, let's start. Let's go from the top. Woo! <laughs>
Hey, that's a lovely aerial view. That is an awesome view. Ooh, okay, <laughs> I timed that. <laughs> I was getting concerned. Okay, while well, I'm out here, uh, is there any water? Yeah, there is. We're gonna start this off with the mining trip. For water. <laughs> that was cool. I gotta show Essa how to do that. <laughs> she'll, she'll scream bloody murder at me. I know she will. So one of the reasons I need a lot of water is because... Well, I mean, you've heard me say it multiple times before that I intend to let that be a, uh, a buffer for uh, my temperature sources. You know, warm it up, be a good buffer. But I also do need to collect quite a bit of water. I might send Essa out on mining trips for specifically water. She likes mining. I don't mind it too, but it's just kind of like a... I don't think y'all want to watch me mine out an entire planet just to get water. Despite the fact that this whole planet looks like it should be made out of water. We got quite a bit of stacks, but not really enough. How much water is in a water ice? That doesn't help. Space ice. I really wish that they put that elsewhere. Okay. Water, water, water ice. Pure ice water, polluted water. Ice water. 20 moles of water. So, three of these is at a liter. That's not a lot. I'll be honest, that is not a lot. Ooh, volatiles. I need some, some of that. Ooh, lots of volatiles. I need a lot of that. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed her coming along. She adds a lot more of a vibrant energy than I ever could by myself, because I am always constantly silent. She may think a lot, but she does kind of help keep me grounded. And she's always been that grounding force in my life. Because I'm very, what is it, contemplative? I'm definitely introverted. You can probably kind of tell from that. But my introversion vibes make it really hard to uh, kind of reach out, do things with people. And part of that is not, not really that I don't like it. How do I get out of here? And part of that is really because I think a lot, like, it sounds weird, but I, I'm always doing a lot of thinking, and because of that it gets kind of hard for me to just disengage from that. And then that just leads me to kind of unintentionally brushing off people. Don't really mean to, but it's just kind of how I am. Uh, her bubbly energy basically kind of gives, gives me a grounding force because it forces me to keep engaging. And I honestly need that. Because otherwise I've, I have I've, I have very few friends and most of that is because I keep forgetting to keep up with my friendships. You know, it's, 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 it's more of a matter of uh, I do forget. And nobody wants to feel ignored, so. But yeah. Anyways. I am done with this mining trip. 
So, getting some water, because I do need to fill up the the phase change device, is I intend to use water. Uh, where is... I should... Should be over there. Yep, there it is. Although I probably don't need the beacon anymore since Essa is living in the base. She's my permanent beacon. She is my guiding light! Oh, there's some lead over there. So, let's see. I'll leave that. So, one part, one thing that you missed on the video is I tried to smelt like 300 silicon and set it on fire. <laughs> Inside that furnace. Because <clears throat> I completely forgot about the fact that I needed to not do that, you know. Oh, speaking of which, I should buy some alloys, some of the bigger ones. Uh, but that thing is on. I need to turn that off. First things first, let's drop this off. So, like, there's not really even too much of a big problem for the fact that I just need to pump all this water out here. It's just that, you know... I gotta fill this up. There we go. Got my backpack back. Okay, so now that I did this... One thing that I needed to do, like I said, is I set the inside of this on fire. And that's because I enclosed it off. But what I didn't do is to have a way for these excess gases to leave. That's the wrong one. Let's put a back pressure regulator. And now I need... That is stupid. How am I gonna power the back pressure regulator if I do it like that? Alright. Ah, 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 okay launch myself again. So now I can reset that. Ugh, come on. Please just... Come on. I know I took this one out. Come on. Why is the top one always so hard to place? It's like, come on. It's right there. There we go. Alright, now that that's placed... Wow, I have like no coils whatsoever. I can... Route you up here. then put yet another insulated pipe right there. So, I think what ended up happening is that I had too much air pressure in there that when I turned this furnace on, which is going to be abs brain spanking cold now, yep, 
it just could not handle that. Okay. So now that I got that, I can start. I can start. No, 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 turn off! I can heat that up, and it should get that hot. do have an ability to check to see what's inside there. Holy moly, that is hot. As you can tell, it's getting hot in there. And I have 240 iron. Let's get that out. I don't have a lot of space, but I can make space by putting my face change devices down. So here, in here, we're going to have an evaporation chamber and that's going to be tied to here. I need two counter flow exchangers. Tied to condensation chambers. How am I going to get this? I'll probably remove those water piping. I don't need that. I'm just going to tie them. I can't put it that close. I can put it right here, though. Condensation chamber right here. That should get them squared away. Let's go ahead and build them up. Because I do need to build some counter flows. I gotta go inside to do that, though. You should be here, and you should be there. Okay. And as we saw, I got a lot of materials to sell again. Let's pause that for now. And go and deal with that. So, I think all of the oxygen in there that got hot... I spot iron, solder, constantin, electrum... And var, go away. Twenty-five, twenty-five. I don't know that I'll need all of this, but might as well. Okay, I'm running out of space. Close. So the one in there is filled. I'm no stranger to that. That's fine. Now I can turn this on. So it's 1.36 kilokelvin. And it's still dropping in there. That's good. Because I think the issue is I had too much thermal energy in there. And because of that, I was setting my stuff on fire. I turned that on, right? Yeah, I did. And with my stuff being set on fire, well, that means I lost my silicon, my 300 Gs of silicon. Down to 12,000 sp space bucks because I sold quite a bit. But that's okay. Because I can always just make it back. By selling this extra stuff. Look at that. That is a lot. 329. 
Don't want to sell any of that. Let's sell 129 gold. Okay, it's 15,000 space bucks. That's fine. And you can go back home now. Because I need to empty out that again. So I need to build two counterflows. And some insulated piping. There we go. And let's see if I got any other good people. Ah, uh, probably not. Galactic metallurgy. You know what? Oh, you not enough. I need to fix that. While that's doing that. Let's take a drink. Let's go on ahead and queue up counterflows. Counterflows. I need two of you. Electrum and Invar. How much Electrum do you have? Quite a bit. Invar? Probably not enough. Actually, what do you have? Electrum, Invar. Iron, gold, copper, steel. She said there was no silicon. I gotta put more silicon in there. Let's give you Invar. Don't need Electrum, but here. I don't know that you need Electrum, so there you go. One thing you need to print out, though, is electronic parts. I think a full stack will work. And let's see, how much insulated liquid pipes? Probably enough. But let's just, for the sake of argument, print another two. Alright, galactic metallurgy. Did you get better? Ridiculously better. Makes me wonder, what was the problem before? So it looks like we can't grow chickens. We'll need the far trader now to do that. That's a little sad, but... Hunger, caution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know... Ah, I didn't need that. Okay. Solder and constant. What do you have? You got quite a bit of solder. You need quite a bit of constant. I've never seen you need a lot of solder. You got 145 solder. I'll just give you some more. Gonna eat my muffin. I'm glad they fixed that. It used to be that the, for some reason the muffins weren't fully feeding you. So I'm really glad they got that squared away. Okay. So. Stack is 10. I need these coils. So I need one that. That and that. One thing I do need to do is get... little bit of solder here. 300 steel, 500 steel. Stick you in there. Okay. This whole thing needs to be completely removed. Uh, I gotta figure out the piping for that, but let's get the... F one thing at a time. Face change devices first. How many steel sheets do I have? Not enough. That should have more now. Way too much stuff. This building. Yes. Alright. That takes care of the people that I needed, so trading is done. I should be more hygienated than I am now, so we'll do this. So, uh, 
I do want to get... So, let's see where that falls in. Actually, let's do the one right next to it. I want to see where that falls in, because I'm going to try to pipe up to that. The water is going to be the, the interesting thing that I got to do. Oh, I could have let the nitrous thing go while I was still filtering. Dra uh, drats. Whatever. Okay. That's actually not a bad spot. That's not a bad spot for it. I could take this and just rotate it slightly like this. Actually, just do that. There we go. I think that's a better way for it. And then I'll just have this come out over here. Because it does need to be fed to here. Can't go through there, so you know what? That's not where it's supposed to go, thank you. Right there. Okay, gave me a little bit more space. That's getting close. anymore. Alright, uh, how much water is in here now? Thousand liters, perfect. Okay. Don't need this here. Honestly, I really don't need that set up. Did I just get launched? Grinder, because I need a frame right here, so that I can properly set up my counterflows. I should also probably turn this back on so that it can do some stuff. Oh no. I thought I turned it off when I bought all that stuff. Regent mix. Oh, right. You need to be smelted. It's a lot of electrum. That's probably, like, steel or something. Oh, okay. Well, can't do anything about that just yet, so go in there. Go in there. Oh, no, that didn't go in there. Go in there. Probably could have just sold it to the trader, to be honest, but... Look, we, we've covered the fact that my hindsight is not very good. Perfect. That should hopefully not be hot enough... To melt my alloys. Alright, so condensation chambers are that way. So that means I need my evap right here. Right, like this. Perfect. Thinking about it, probably shouldn't have moved that entire amount of uh, liquid pipe because I, I I will need it for this soon.
that. And now... Thing is, I need a direct heat exchange because I want to get this all hooked up. Okay. This evaporation chamber here is going to go and hook up actually to the shower. Actually, it needs to be like right here. quite fully figured out how to do that one yet, but my thought is I'm going to take this fairly hot pollutant and use that for the shower, for the, all the dirty water, and then repump it back somewhere else. But I'll figure that out later, because right now I need to get this system operational. So now I need cable coils. I think I can just squeeze out So here, here's what I'm thinking. So, pause. So for the last one, water is going to... Oh, I think they fixed this now so that it's not so weird. Let's check. 100 Celsius. Still doesn't say it right. Whatever. Okay. I'm going to get this to 5.5 megs. So that's 365 Celsius. And it's going to try to take the other side down to, let's just say, 50, just to be safe. So we have some, so 25 kilopascals. So you're going to be 25 kilopascals on. And you're going to be... Okay, got it. Now, with all of that there, I'm using a roughly one kilowatt for my entire atmospheric setup system. Now, before I go out that far, I need to What are you again? Galactic metallurgy? sell you my coal. I can go ahead and sell you some of my iron. I'll keep you there for now. What about you? Build ink? Ooh, wow, I have a lot of stuff just locked up in my vending machines. You see that? If I were to sell all my steel, I'll, I'll get... Ah! Darn it. Didn't mean to sell my solder. That was such a waste. That's such a waste of solder. Oh well. Just buy the solder back. Stupid. Yeah, it's, I, w 
wasted some money on that. But, I mean, having all of this is really nice to have. I mean, look at that. 1,200 space bucks worth of that. Alloys can make a good chunk. Alright, so, with the way... I gotta do this. There's gonna be a lot of inside work that I need to get done. And I'm not gonna be anywhere close to finishing that. Because I do need to do some things here. Like, for example, I need to I need to remove you right here. put it back volume regulator so that I can so that I can pump all of this out but in doing that I have to be extremely careful that I don't accidentally destroy well Might as well do it anyways, to be honest. I still have some water bottles and I can quick set it up. Part of the reason I gotta do that anyways is so that I can... Connect you up here. Uh, let's just finish it out with insulated piping. So I need to get all of this out of there. Then I need to get all of the water out of there. The rest... Well, that's like half a liter. That's like almost inconsequential. I shouldn't even really worry about that, to, to be honest. I kind of want to set up the shower right here. Got five liters of polluted water. That uses quite a bit. So that's going to put a lot of water up in the tank up, up top, which is awesome, which is nice. I got to completely... Uh, let's just do liquid pipes too. I even have shoots. I got some shoots. I gotta do those too. And then, but then I gotta do something with this oxygen tank right here, because it's it's not needed anymore. Seven thousand. I could just dump all of this out into my atmosphere. But then the problem I will have is so a little bit of electron and a little bit of anymore. do that. Okay, that's almost empty. And I can delete that. I gotta relocate this, though. That might be something that I'll get done with Vesa, because she might be able to give me a good insight. Because I do want to seal off this work area, so that this, you know, right here will be kind of like the work area for the factory area. Maybe I can repurpose this side to the showers, you know, have like a shower. The only annoying thing, though, is that that makes a very long stretch of pipe to the evaporator, but you know what? I can probably deal with that. Okay. But... It's a wrench. Okay. I 
should get rid of that. Although, to make it faster, I should probably do this. Wait, you're falling pumps? I'm going to have a problem with is that I need to kind of just pump that out back over here. Maybe I just create a long stretch of pipe and just pump it there. This is at least going to replenish some oxygen. You know what? That's probably better, to be honest. Just to make a long stretch of pipes and pump that out there. Uh, let's see. After all, I made like a bajillion of these. I'm not heading out there because uh, my time is about up, but I figured if I can get this thing done, I can have something working in the background. Where's my pipes? I'm pretty sure I bought a lot of you. Just see it like that. Hmm. Because I'm putting base area in there. Okay. nothing in there, which is good. And yeah, 25 moles is like almost nothing of water. I can afford to lose basically one liter, half a liter. Okay. This gets rid of that. Now I can get rid of that. To get rid of this. Angle grinder. Now hand drill. Okay. Get rid of all of this weird mess. Not enough water. Okay. Oh, that's going to take a while to pump out. But the good news about that is that it is actually getting something done. Alright, so now I can get rid of this. It's a wrench. Oh, okay. Then a hand drill. Again, I probably don't really sh shouldn't really care about this. 
It's sad that I am burning through. I just lost quite a bit of water right there, but at the same point, it's... To reclaim it is going to be much more annoying. Okay, so a shower will be right there. Uh, okay. What are you? Hand drill. Now just a bunch of wrenches. Being absolutely careful not to accidentally kill, kill us. Like that. Almost would have killed us. Okay. Uh, so with that, if this is going to be kind of like a decontamination room and stuff like that, I kind of want to build like... Honestly? Probably, I kind of do need to get rid of those. Maybe build another set of uh, lockers, relocate that. Yeah, let's do that. Kit locker. Well, I'll just continue removing stuff and placing it up somewhere. Look how much cleaner that's looking. That is so much cleaner than what it was before. Okay. like this right yes all right so if we move all of this right here then we'll have space for me to kind of set up a shower area or a drinking hut right there a storm. I wonder how powered down my uh, station batteries were. Really low. That'll give my GFG time to replenish. Actually, I haven't checked on them lately. Place this glass right here. Holy crap, that's not good. So these aren't even really running anymore. too cold. It's a good thing I am depleting that now. I have got to get that set up. I knew that I was going to run into a problem eventually. Alright, 
Where was I at? Almost done. Uh, I was in moving all of this. <laughs> Horse scanner. spots Hunger, caution. all right I actually do like this kind of like oh come on how do I remove this there we go. I like the fact that we have the sanitation and stuff because it it does help with this whole planning setup so now I can basically have walls right here that separate this room. And I'll probably put an actual door right here, but right now it's just kind of like a, you know, proof of concept. Which can lead to wall right there for the shower eventually. Right? Yeah, because I want to make this little area kind of like the shower room. But that at least helps me to plan out and you know what? Put a drinking fountain and a water... Where's the water bottle filler? I know I'll put it here somewhere. Shower. It's not in my inventory, is it? Portable air conditioner, labeler, da-da-da. Generator. Hydroponics. Grow lights. Water bottle filler. There we go. I can have... Okay. Well, I'd like to put those, but the problem is the shower is a freaking bulky thing. Let's go eat first. Those are already full, that's good to know. Nine hundred moles. What? That should rapidly decompress this. should pressurize to 82, and I don't mind losing some of that. Part of the reason why I want to do some se se uh, separations right there is because it's going to get to a point where the base is going to get so big, and if I don't separate it, then I'm just going to magically generate Europa atmosphere, and we're going to kill ourselves. Filter can go right there. How do I deconstruct you? Hand drill? And wrench. And then, oops. Yeah, I way overtook my time right here. I was trying to get this storm to wait on by, but that's eating up most of my time. So let's go to the shower. If 
I do that, I don't think I can get any water, can I? Ah! Can't. But, what I can do is peek those out some more. Okay. I'm gonna do what I did last time. And so it's a wrench. Eat. <laughs> water, so they're probably going to complain about it. Perfect. storm is over, I think I'm going to call it at that. So that next time I can get... Actually, I should just probably place these. I do want to fix that up because if I don't I am going to forget it and then I am going to regret it. Where the heck is my wrench? You're not even where you're supposed to be. What did I do with my wrench? I put it away. did some inside work, but I need to power it up. <clears throat> that is so dumb, I need to power this up. Alright. Dumber and dumber as I as time permits, to be honest. <laughs> Perfect. She's gonna be so surprised. I way overstated it. Whoops. Alright, so next time we're just gonna continue on. Uh, I'll continue the phase change, I'll continue the whole thing. I gotta finish setting up the last device, and uh, hopefully see you then, uh, with or without Essa. Uh, have a good day, and goodbye.